First at 10, a Chinese man is biking across the U.S. Today, he's pedaling his way through Grand Rapids. His motivation is to fight and keep Hong Kong free from the mainland of China. But his journey has been a tough one. Our Matt Wickos has more on his story. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Hey, Jamie, Alex Lee's journey has taken him through several states. A drunk driver hit him during one of his treks, almost killing Lee. And when he was well enough, he says he got back up on his bike because he knew his mission wasn't over. Lee is taking a moment of rest after a several thousand mile ride to the East Coast. You know, from California, I passed Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. You might remember these images from Hong Kong back in 2019. Millions of people opposed a bill that would allow extradition from Hong Kong to China. The city's top leader put an end to that bill. The protests continued and eventually shaped towards making Hong Kong a greater democracy. You know, I like the free lifestyle. That's why I hate the Communist Party. I don't like the censorship. You know, in China. Li is originally from a small village near Beijing. When he was older, he studied sociology at a university in Tokyo. In 2019, he dropped out to pursue the movement growing in Hong Kong. Li feels that it's his mission to continue even though the demonstrations have ended. It's quite, you know, it's quite sad. His journey has almost ended when a drunk driver hit him in North Dakota last year. However, he continues to spread awareness to free Hong Kong. I feel like, you know, it was a revolutionary time. And I should do something amazing than just, you know, sitting down in the classroom to listen to the teachers. You have to love his dedication. Since Lee's accident, he has since stopped riding at night. He often goes about 50 miles a day. He hopes to be in Boston soon, but he still wants to ride through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. In the studio, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.